In this segment, we're focusing on the Brightwork capability to help you easily manage projects with SharePoint, and we're focusing on the Project Manager. For the Project Manager, we're, we're going to, again, look at this structured template, though the capability we're looking at, Project Status Reporting, can actually be done in any of the templates in the same way. We just happen to be looking at the structure template. So an interesting question, where do you get the status report? Everywhere really, which is very positive. I mean, you look here and I've got a summary timeline in a one-line Gantt. I look here, I've got a nice phase timeline. I look here and I've got a status of the open issues. I look down here in the bottom right and I've got a status of the work summary. Here I can see the traffic lights in the top right. So that's full of status. I, I can click here and see the project schedule. It's on the critical path. Um, here I can click a dashboard. So And this dashboard actually has history as well with it. I can click into any of the reports. If I click task reports uh, I can see my work breakdown structure uh, neatly presented to me in a Brightwork report. So, so I have reports everywhere really. So it's extremely positive. Now there is one potential drawback because as soon as somebody updates something it changes. So I'm looking at a dashboard and two hours later it's different which is exactly what I want because of course I want to see the live up-to-date information. But but what if I'm, you know, I want to see the status report as of Friday when we met. How do we handle that scenario? So if, if we look down on the bottom left of our quick launch, and of course we could put it anywhere because it's very configurable, we click status reporting. Now what it does is it shows us the last status report that was formally logged. So in other words, somebody kind of set a baseline. Here's the status report right now. So I'm going to do new item. You got to love this interface in SharePoint 2013. I'm I'm going to say what phase are we in? So I'm going to say we're in the plan phase. Status report comments. So I'm thinking um, doing well. Major accomplishments. Not so many. Oh, we'll spell it. Major activities planned, very few. Obviously, I have a, a wish to get fired or something. Now, what are you filling in here? What you're actually filling in here is the color commentary. You're filling in the information that's not actually in the project site. Because if there's information in the project site, you should not be filling it in. It should automatically come for you. So I just press Save. And now I have created a status report. And this particular status report is, is saying, actually, if you remember in a prior demo segment, uh, we changed the issues and the icon went from red to yellow. So we see that change there. And, and my commentary is added. So what's actually happening is the information that I typed in, which is my report that I would give to my boss or my manager, um, is added to information from the site that I nominate and I have baselined a status report at this stage. One of our uh, customers talks about the three-minute status report. In other words, if it's not possible for a project manager to make a status report in three minutes, maybe five tops, you're not going to get them to do it. And, and that's where this has come from, like a lot of the brighter capabilities from working with our customers. Um, so we now see we've added a status report to the stack, to the history. Interesting enough, we're, we're going to look at cross-project reporting later, but, but if I actually just click the navigate up and I go to my project office, so I'm looking across multiple projects, and then I click status reports. So I want to see the latest status reports from all the projects. So I click here and I see that there are a number of status reports from different projects and there's the one from the project I'm on week ending the 28th of June um, with the yellow indicator for issues and so on and, and with my glib commentary doing well, not so many, very few. So a senior manager coming in 
looks across her project and she sees, of course, uh, the uh, latest status report that I added. So all I had to do was do new status report, fill up my color commentary. It added that to the rest of the information in the site, baseline the status report for me, which of course could be automatically emailed and is now on every dashboard that it's relevant. And the senior manager looking at this could just click and go straight into that project and find out what's happening.